You know how guys get their girls flowers and chocolate and teddy bears? Well, I got my girl something else. I got her this. <laughs> So today is actually my first new Demon Slayer episode reaction since last season. And this episode is apparently about Tamioka, which I've been questioning since the very beginning of a Demon Slayer, especially with this last episode. I want to know what the fuck is going on. I want to know why is he like this? Why is he so Sasuke? Did his dad die? Did his mom die? Did his daughter die? Did everybody die? I want you guys to get this video to 5,000 likes. Why? For no reason other than I just want it. Also, let me know down below right now, who is your favorite Demon Slayer character? Alright, let's do this shit. Episode 2, let's go. Like, bro, how did I not realize this is Aizen? All the birdies are, is like a pair of glasses on. That would have been peak shit, bro. This bird, I think, has the sexiest voice I've ever heard come out of a bird's mouth. Oh, that looks awesome. That looked beautiful. Yo, he, he better not go with her. I mean, a dog never stays home alone. She's gonna bring him along. What's going on here? What's going on here? I'm guessing these characters are gonna have a bigger role this season. The last time we move, what does that mean? <laughs> I mean, I'm not that connected to these characters, but they serve an important role to the series. Hell yeah! People don't like this opening. I'm convinced y'all don't like anything. I love it so much, I'm skipping it. <laughs> Here we go. The Sorrows of the Water Hashira, Gyo Tomeoka. Another voice that puts me at ease, even though he's, he's on his deathbed. God, look at it. Is he gonna make it to the end of the series? I mean, it's close. What do you mean? What do you mean you can't? I don't know if you're gonna have time to do that. To wait. Oh, wait, that's better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if anyone's gonna change Tamayoka, bro, it's Tanjiro. Come on, Tanjiro changes everybody. You go next to Tanjiro... You have, you have purpose. Who always ends up alone. From his own actions. I'm so glad we're revisiting this. So we can move forward or look forward. I gotta know his backstory, bro. Come on. Full circle from the beginning of the series to now. It's awesome. Like we're finally getting answers. There's someone I have to meet. Let me guess. Who hasn't he seen yet? Ubashiki? This is very different. Demon Slayer has never done something like this, man. I like this with the OST in the background, the atmosphere. She's asking her for advice. That's so cute. She knows about being alone. Sad. I kind of get that. Like, before I met my girl, like, I would have loved to just, to just be left alone. But then I found her, and I never wanted to be alone again. So it's like Tomioka has to find that person that doesn't make him want to feel alone. Because being alone, at the end of the day, is not good for you. It's not going to uh, be good for you in the long run. So it's like you got to find that one person. Even if it's not someone that is like a soulmate, but even like a friend, you know? Hi. She's so cute. <laughs> I forgot she existed. <laughs> there's so many characters in this damn anime, bro. I love it. I wonder if there's ever going to be a season where Tanjiro's not hurt. Who's he going to meet? Am I dumb? Rengoku's dad? Maybe Rengoku himself. He's going to talk to, like, his, his force ghost. Wait, was I right about... Oh, oh, Tomioka. Wait. Oh. I thought he meant he wanted to meet with someone before he met with Tomioka. Bro, what's wrong with me? <laughs> Keep nagging him. Force yourself into his life. <laughs> Tomioka! <laughs> ya baga baga! Ya ta! <laughs> He's like, no, don't come in. I'm praying. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I can't believe he actually came in. 
Oh, we told him what happened in oh, the meeting. Fucking IGN gave that last episode like a four or a six out of ten, and their main complaint was there was too much talking. That the meeting was boring. What the fuck you want them to do in the meeting? You want them to sing Kumbaya? Yes. No, I want Tomoyoka to train him. That would be perfect. Yeah, he's always angry. Oh, that's probably why he's always angry, right? The main character didn't learn water breathing. How could you complain about conversations in Demon Slayer? If anything, I feel like one of my biggest complaints about the series is that there isn't enough conversation. Like, I want more. I want more conversation between characters like this. More, it connects me with them more. M lore expansion. All they want is domain expansions. Damn. Yo, what's your backstory? I'm about to scream. I'm about to hold them. Be like, oh, tell me already. Cut. Leave. Damn. Dude, it has to be dark. This shit has to be depressing. Hi. Tanjiro acts mad goofy sometimes, bro. <laughs> He's like nagging him, bro. He keeps pushing him, like, keep hovering around him. Take no for an answer. Don't take no for an answer. <laughs> Just sit there. Eat your breakfast, lunch, and dinner right on his doorstep. <laughs> this whole episode is going to be about Tanjiro inserting himself into Tomioka's life. Wait, wait, he actually did sleep out there. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. This is one way to get to him. Do not leave him alone. <laughs> Gyu-san. Oh my god. <laughs> Watch him take a bath. <laughs> nah, nah, bro. I did not watch this yet. Stop it. Fuck you, stop it, stop it. I, I didn't watch it yet, bro. I was just thinking in my head, like, what else could he watch him do? <laughs> watch him take a shit, yeah. <laughs> Did you hear anything, Tanjiro? Write down the sounds you heard. Tanjiro is like a fucking demon in Tomioka's life. <laughs> that stupid face! Here we go. I didn't pass the final selection. Was he that good that they let him in? Here we go. I knew it was related to demons killing. Sabito to you. Oh shit. Wasn't this Eren's voice actor? Oh shit. We're tying this shit back to season one when Tanjiro was like training with him. With the ghost of him, with Orokodaki and shit. This is beautiful! You know who Sabito is? You met him! Orokodaki! Yeah! Oh shit, oh my god, this is why he's gonna act like this. Tomioka's kind of like an orphan, and then he found these people, and then they fucking die. Everybody dies around him. Was he see Tanjiro as Sabito? Look at Tomioka, bro, look how hopeful he looks. He's like Tanjiro. <laughs> Jesus, does he blame himself for that? <laughs> he died like the, the, the final selection NPCs. Sabito that is Aaron! He used the, the founding breathing. <laughs> How the fuck did he die? Damn. I have new love for Sabito. Oh, it's the same one. That Oh, yeah, because he was left there. Oh, my God. That's right, bro. This is what happens when we're on season four and I haven't watched season one in fucking years, right? I think it's been like two years since I reacted to that shit. Um, that, that big, um, what's it called, demon that was left there for the final, uh, exam, for the final selection, ate him, and his mask, and, oh my god, oh shit, damn, Sabido gonna beat him? That's sad, bro, yo, the NPCs look the same as the NPCs now, man, imagine being the only one that did it. And then you fail because you're dead. Now he's holding on to this. It makes sense. He's holding on to this like guilt. You know what I mean? Like he feels like he doesn't deserve this. Like, but but he does. Like, look how much he's learned since, man. If he didn't deserve it then, he deserves it now. Like he fought for that shit. He fought for that title. He 
just doesn't believe in himself enough. He carries a massive load of grief and guilt. Nah, man, come on. Imagine when the mark comes on him. Uh, like, give me more scenes like this where they're on the bridge just fucking talking with the beautiful scenery. I don't need constant action. Oh, God, man. He wishes it was him. Kind of like when Tanjiro saw his family die and everything. Like, I bet, like, he just wishes it was him instead of them. A lot of people like that. The heroes, when they watched like their best friend or somebody die, they wish it was them instead of the actual person that died. It's that uh, survivor's guilt. That's what he has. Tomioka has survivor's guilt. That's the word I was looking for. Love that they reference this again. Bro, he has to grow his hair back like that. I'm sick of this cut. That's awesome lore. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised. Yeah, but like, if he didn't save everyone, then everyone from that exam wouldn't be where they are now, which is furthering the cause of stopping Muzan. So it's like... If this happened, this wouldn't have happened. Or this wouldn't happen, then this would have happened. It's more like what ifs. And that had to happen. Like everything happens for a reason. Sabito had to die. He had to save everybody. He was the only one powerful at that point. Maybe that's when his abilities came to a close. Like maybe there was no growth beyond that. And all the other um, examiners had potential to grow beyond where he was at. Like he, his potential was already reached. He cannot stop. The fucking uh, uh, upper moons and the demons and shit. He wasn't that powerful. It stopped like Muzan. But Tomioka can. Because now he lives with his grief. And that survivor's guilt. Like, I don't know that. You never know. It happened for a reason. So that's his backstory. It's his survivor's guilt. Because he was happy when he met Sabito. So it's not... Oh... God, I see what they did there. That was beautiful. That was a great fucking thing they just did, man. Comparing Sabito to like what Rengoku did. Or what Rengoku did to what Sabito did. How he risked his life. How he like died for us. For our sins. <laughs> like Jesus, bro. Nah, not for our sins. But like for us to live and for us to keep tatakaiing, you know? It was a risk and a sacrifice that was needed. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, I forgot. Like, it's like Tomioka and Tanjiro are so alike to where they feel like they both should have traded places with Rengoku and Sabito, bro. Wow. So they relate with each other so much right here. They're more alike than they're different. They're perfect. It just got real serious. That is what pushed him to this point. But he's still living with that guilt. You know what you should scream? <laughs> Red Goku died. You don't see me being all depressed. <laughs> Is someone going to appear between them or something? <laughs> Bro, it's like that wind hit me. I got goosebumps. Oh my god, that just like awoke at him right there. <laughs> no! Oh my god! <laughs> Don't do this to me, bro. She's gonna remember this moment. It's kind of like how the moments came back to Tokito. The moments are coming back to Tomioka because of the Sabito mention. Your sister was gonna get married the next day. Oh my god. Are you serious? This is perfection. Yo, it hit him again. Oh my god. See what I mean, bro? Tanjiro walks into someone's life and it wakes them up. He's the cure to amnesia. I swear to God, bro. If someone in my life ever has it, I'm bringing him a Tanjiro doll. Wow, he took this brutally, bro. Wow. His sister, his best friend. <laughs> No, don't ruin the moment with that face. This was a beautiful moment. That was the answer to his sadness. <laughs> Mention his sister. No, don't do that. I'm not going to lie, bro. I don't like when they do this. 
like we just had a super serious moment and then they show Tanjiro's face and it's like the goofiest thing. Like I don't love that, but like that was still a great scene. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Minor complaint. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Now, <laughs> he's in it now. That's all it took. A conversation with Tachiro. <laughs> now going to the ramen shop with, Nez with uh, fucking Naruto. Okay, that was very quick. <laughs> that was like super quick, bro. That just turn around. Like, I get it. I get why and how it happened, but that was wow. That was like a fucking switch. Of course. Tanjiro, go up to her. Fix her. That's what's missing in the scene. You need Tanjiro in your life. You'll find guidance through Tanjiro. How can you say no to that? Oh my god! Yeah, she got better with that. You know why? Because of Tanjiro. Now is the right time. Wow. So Tanjiro did have a placement in the scene, if you think about it. Ooh. Damn, everybody's getting close. Let's go. It's like Tomioka and Tanjiro had to kill that demon. Oh, shit. Episode 3. Tanjiro is fully recovered and taken to Hashira Trade. Okay, now what are we doing? Uh, manga titles now? My life in another world as a sea snake with... Um, blood wrapped around my neck with a duck next beside me. Tanjiro is fully recovered and taken to Hashira training. I know what to expect this season, and it's exactly what we just got. Conversations, talking about what we're gonna be getting to beyond this arc. Like, I feel like once we get to the, what everybody's talking about, like the Infinity Castle, we're fighting all of the upper moons and Muzan and, uh, 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 what's his name? The, uh, the guy with the dirty eyes and shit, the, the tarantula man. Um, stuff like that, like, once we get there, and the rainbow guy, uh, uh, the pride flag guy, like, once we get to all of that, th this is what we're leading up to, and I'm, that, that's why I'm so excited. Training, conversations, expanding the lore, character development, that's all I want out of the season, and I don't mind it, because I want it. I want to be more connected to these characters, I don't want just constant action. Because we know when we get the action, it's peak. It's fucking incredible, it's beautiful, everybody talks about it because of how well animated it is. And we know we're getting there. So for now, I'm just enjoying this lore, bro. These conversations, loving it. What'd you guys think? Let me know down below. But other than that, sayonara.